Hi, this video is going to be an introduction of Appellate project. I'm going to quickly go through step by step how the project is going to work. This is our main page and we give some information about our app and just this is a, a section if a user come to our website it's going to show some useful information and when they click somewhere around here it's going to take them to the events page and this is our events list which is created um, by some restaurants and listed in this section and this is another very useful information if a user registered some events and it's showing you how they are going to benefit uh, this events so this part is going to be a list of our restaurants and this is the subscriber part and now I'm going to go to the events page which is our events list going to shown here and this is the restaurants page which is like our restaurants going to show here and this is the contact page I'm gonna quickly go to the one of the events when when I click this events here it's basically showing me the events name and dates published and going to this events going to be this date and time and which uh, restaurant published this event and if there is a seat limit going to be here and a user are able to book a table of the events and but when they click it since they are not logged in they are not able to make a booking here and this part is a description of the events and if there is a food option they are going to be posted here and this is another image from the events so this site it's basically giving the information about the restaurant which is posted uh, this events and i'm gonna come back there and when i this part it's about review if i try to make a review and i'm not able to make a review since uh, i am not logged in and if I go to the click to the restaurant uh, page uh, it's basically taking me to that specific restaurant and giving me detail of the restaurant about section some page some uh, photos of the restaurant and other uh, events is coming to here and if I go to the view events it's basically bringing the events of the that specific restaurant and if I try to go to another event let me go this one here and if I go to the this red cafe it's still showing me the same event but let me go to the this one here and if I go to this restaurant and if I try to review events as we can see from here there is only one restaurant created by that specific rest restaurant so now I'm going to try to make some uh, review and try to make a, a booking and register a table book a table uh, in this uh, event for that I need to log in or I need to create a, a account so now I'm going to try to create an account as user but if uh, but since I make a, uh, a username called user I'm not able to take same username therefore I'm going to make this one user one and I'm going to make the user first name user1, last name user1, email at user1.user1.com and password also user1. I'm going to register here and I'm going to make another two, two users to basically going to register as an admin and register as a moderator but however 
whoever is registered to our web page they are going to be user only but I am able to make them uh, admin and moderator let me just create some an, an admin since I got admin and I'm not able to make an admin and I'm going uh, now I'm going to make admin one and admin one admin one dot admin one dot com admin one I'm going to register and I'm going to make another user register another user as moderator and I'm going to make this one moderator one moderator one last name moderator one email moderator one dot com and password is also moderator I'm going to register successfully registered there and now I'm going to access the site and I'm going to log in the site as user one and when I try to enter my credentials it's going to, me, going to take me to the user dashboard so what user can make can see here they are going to see their email address they are going to say their booking if there is one and they are going to see their reviews and if they give some review any specific uh, events and they also can see their uh, account information so now since I uh, logged in I'm going to choose an event and I'm going to make a comment and I'm going to register uh, a book a table now I'm going to book a table as we can see we successfully created uh, a registration for uh, for a table and now I'm going to make a review hi this is an amazing event when I submit it now I'm able to see the review posted by user and if I go to the my dashboard and if I see my booking I'm able to see my booking I registered for this event and hosting by the red cafe if I go to do my reviews and if I come to this platter event I can see this is my review I just post there so now I'm going to go log out and gonna go to log in as moderator oh let me go to the actually page of admin admin one or admin the username is admin the password is admin when I logged in oops when I logged in it basically taking me to the admin dashboard so what can admin do they can create an admin they can create a moderator they can create user create restaurant they can create event also if I go to the admins I am able to see admin list here if I go to the moderator I'm able to see moderator list here if I go to the user and I'm, I'm able to see all users who are registered in our website so in this year I'm able to make one of them as admin and as moderator I'm gonna change this user role to make it admin and I'm going to change its password and I'm going to change the role admin when I submit it and when I come to the account and click to the admin as we can see this admin one is now able to go to the uh, uh, is, uh, uh, admin so now I'm just gonna go to the sign out and and I'm going to log in and I'm going to log in as admin one admin one now as we can see this one since it's become an admin he is able to see uh, the admin dashboard so he's are able to uh, able to make any changes of whatever admins can do and now I'm going to change this user as a moderator 
and I'm going to add updated password and going to make it moderator I'm going to submit it I'm gonna go to the, my account if I go to the moderator as we can see he's a moderator so whatever what else the the admin also can see the the restaurant it can also create a restaurant let me quickly post a restaurant here create a restaurant here like I'm going to say test rest around I'm going to make the password test restaurant full name test restaurant address say I'm going to enter this this number here the email address is test restaurant test restaurants.com and I'm going to make a logo let me go here let's see let's choose this one and then gonna go to check some photos let's choose this one here get this one here and get this one here if I submit it it's gonna create a restaurant which is going to come in the restaurant list here as we can see the restaurant is already created and when I go to the my account when I go to the restaurants list it's going to pop up the restaurant which we just created here and let me go to the since we created this restaurant let me just update the information and I'm going to add it there I'm going to update their password and full name of the restaurant I'm gonna say updated and I'm going to change the logo from that to this one and I'm going to change other photos and I'm going to change other photo and this one here but let me go to the check the restaurant we just created and see what is currently looking and yeah this is our restaurant this is information provided and this is our some photos we have just given and let me just go and submit it once we submit it and I'm going to refresh the page and as we can see all the information just got submitted and the, the name is being updated so now I'm going to copy this username and I'm going to go to the, my dashboard and and I'm going to actually yeah let me create an event here as we can see there are events list here and and I'm going to create an event and I'm going to say test event and I'm going to make an event date let's say for 30 city Toronto set limit let's say 100 limit description let's say test let's say test this one and here since I am an admin here so since I am an admin I am able to see the restaurant list and I'm able to assign this event whoever is going to post this event I'm going to assign this event to this restaurant we just updated and I'm going to choose some photos let's make this one here and another one this one also oh, let's choose this one here and when I submit it it's basically gonna create this event let me go this side here As we can see the events come here and then when we click on it it's going to be hosted which we just created the restaurant is going to be hosted that one by that one and this is the all the information and when I click the title of the restaurant is going to show me the restaurant detail if I click the view events 
it's going to show me the events list of that restaurant so let me go to the my account page and then see that if I can update the, that events and this is the event and I'm going to say event updated and I'm going to change the photos and let's make this one here and let me see refresh the page as we can see the old information updated photos are updated and now uh, and I'm going to go to the my account and gonna go to the events and going to delete the oh, going to delete this event here so now and <clears throat> and I'm going to try to log in as user one as we just created and I'm going to add password as user one going to log successfully and let I'm going to make a review of that make a review for that events with which we just created new events review by user one I'm going to submit it and I'm going to book a table and now I'm gonna go to my account and going to see my booking as we can see we already booked that event and if I go to my reviews as we can see we can see our reviews we just gave and now I'm going to sign out and, I'm and now I'm gonna go to the access login as the test restaurant just we have created and when I sign in and logged in and I'm going to uh, navigate it to the restaurant dashboard and when I go to the event list as we can see the event just comes up which is created by the admin and comes to the this test restaurant and if I see the guest we just sign by the user to this events name and just come here and if we can see the, the review just come to this restaurant and now I'm gonna go to the create another event by by this restaurant and when we create an event like let's say event by sign it restaurant and I'm going to let's say this is the date city let's say Toronto seat limit unlimited seat description let's say test foot option let's say test and I'm going to choose and let's say this photo and this photo again as we can see we cannot assign to any other restaurant because it's only assigned to the signed restaurant and when we go to the events <clears throat> as we can see the event just created and the hosting restaurant is a Greek taverna like this tested restaurant and like we are not able to make any review and we are not able to make any booking because the restaurant is signed and I'm going to just sign out and gonna log in as moderator one with which is we just created as a user and it's we make it the moderator when I logged in it's gonna take me to the moderator uh, dashboard we are only able to see the users which are registered to the website and we can see the restaurants and 
we can see the events and we can see the reviews and we can see the accounts I'm gonna just delete the reviews and as we can see the review is gone and I'm gonna see the events <clears throat> and I'm going to delete this uh, events created by the restaurant and, and I'm going to see the restaurants and I'm going to delete this restaurant as well and as we can see the old restaurants which I've created are here and the deleted one is gone and the events is the same the deleted one is gone and here in the user moderators are only able to edit user to make them active or deactive and once we deactivate user and let me make password change and well submitted and this user it's deactive and let me go to the user list and as we can see it's deactive now and I'm going to sign in as a user and let me see if I can sign in and I'm going to log in as user and password is user once I logged in since the account is not active uh, it's going to show up a pop-up message and it's going to say contact support and when I click OK it's basically taking me to the home page and let me just make change to make that user as active again and I'm going to go to the moderator one and close this one going to go on user and edit the user make the user as active change the password I'm going to submit it and I'm going to go my account sign out I'm gonna go to login I'm gonna use gonna access as user when I access it take it takes me to the dashboard again yeah that was all for the this project and the project it's based on Merm stack which is MongoDB, ExpressJS, Node.js and React on the front end. Let me know if you have any question and thank you.